Hello, in this video I will show you how to spin a rectangular shape and a circle shape in SVG in Blazor or using Blazor. It's a relatively simple thing to do but then there are some very tricky bits uh, which I will have to explain. So let's see what, uh, what we have here, right? We have a little square, it is a square. And if I click on it, it starts uh, spinning, spinning. And if I click on the circle, which is gradient, right? Just so we know that it spins, click on that, start spinning. If I click on one of these again, it stops, right? It stops. And the same for the circle. Click again, starts again. And that starts again. And I stop them. See, it stops, it starts, it spins. So let's see how it works. Relatively straightforward arrangement we have. We have a SVG, okay, right here we have SVG, uh, 400 by 400, a little square. And then we have this linear gradient. This will be used for the circle, just so that we know that it actually spins. Obviously, if a circle is uh, uh, the same solid color, then we don't really see it, right? We can't see it, so we need a gradient. Uh, now, I'll explain how the gradient works, but uh, First of all, let's go with rectangular shape. Okay, we have a rect, okay. Then we have a little on click then going on, right? And then we have all the values set. So these are the sort of main values, right? We have X coordinate, Y coordinate, and then we have height and width. So it's a square uh, set on these coordinates, okay? Now, the way it transforms Okay, it does transform to spin. We use transform, right? It's not in style, it's not like a CSS class or something like that. Uh, we just use transform, okay? And then in that, we use rotate. Now, we can use the other options as well, such as translate, uh, obviously not for spinning, but for other things uh, that you might need to do. It is possible. Uh, but in this case, of course, we need to rotate because spinning is rotating right and then we have rect deck which is an integer okay it's an integer value right here we have the integer value starting with zero and then as you can imagine it will be increased and increased and increased and then we have is spinning false okay is spinning false now the way it works is quite simple we go into the spin rack method which uh, is executed on the click right right here and then if it is already true then it is set to false which makes it stop spinning and if it's false we set it to true and then it goes into this while loop and starts spinning the while loop is uh, quite simple okay once it reaches 360 it resets to zero because it goes from zero to 360 right very simple and then we have adding of one on every cycle now to make it slower or faster we can simply use task delay okay we can simply use task delay and that's all that we need to do another important thing is the state has changed now if you try to remove it uh, you will see that it doesn't work properly because uh, uh, we are using things like uh, delay and we are basically going into different threads. Uh, now, if you want to learn more about this stuff, about the state has changed and sort of background kind of arrangements, you can take a look at my course where you will learn everything that you need to know about Blazor to actually use Blazor from basics uh, to handling web sockets and these background tasks and many, many more things. Uh, now then, uh, if you want to change speed again, just change this number, okay? Now, there is, there is a trick of it, and I haven't got to it yet. Uh, we will get it, uh, we will look at it rather now. Okay, we have this rectangle, and then, then we have uh, a couple more things. We have transform box, we need to do fill box, right? And then we have transform origin, that's the crucial part, okay? We have style fill, obviously that's the sort of default thing but this transform origin is definitely the crucial part of it now if you want to spin if you want it to spin around itself that's what you need to set okay otherwise it will kind of just 
spin as a solar system, uh, it, it will make no sense. It won't spin around itself. If you want it to spin around itself, what you need to do in this case, you set 120, 120. Basically, this is the center around which the object spins, okay? And the reason is 120, if we get in here, okay, the object starts at x 100 and y 100, right? And it ends at y 140 and x 140 because the height and width is 40. So the center needs to be somewhere in between, right? And somewhere in between would be 120. That's why the origin is x 120, y 120. Very simple indeed. Now, the circle is a bit more complex. Uh, first of all, we need this linear gradient. Now, uh, you can take a look at uh, take a look at some reference of this. Uh, I think it will be uh, better to do it that way, or you can maybe find uh, one of these tools that actually generate uh, uh, these linear gradients. Uh, I believe that would be some real help because writing it on your own, if you really want to make something pretty would just be terribly annoying, right? Uh, but basically, we have this linear gradient arrangement, we have the ID, and then on the circle, it is set as the fill, you see right here, fill, URL, little hashtag, and gradient color, the ID for our linear gradient. Uh, so this is how the gradient is set if you need that. Uh, but again, it's best to look it up uh, sort of properly in proper reference and even better, it's, uh, if you can find a tool for that, just go ahead and generate these things. It will be a lot easier. Now then, in this case, transform origin is a bit different. Okay, it is a bit different. Uh, there are a few reasons for that. Um, first of all, the cx and cy coordinates will be center x okay and center y coordinates it's not from the left or from top side of the circle it's from the center side of the circle and then we have the radius which is 40 right uh, the radius is 40 and then the y is 200 these are the centers right and so in that case, transform origin will be 100 and 200 because we already have the center, so we don't need to make any additional calculation. Other than that, it's the same exact thing, except for, of course, the value is different. It's a circle degree, right? But again, it's rotate. It's just the way uh, that the center is declared. That's a different part. Therefore, we need to have different origin. Quite simple indeed. Now, one last thing I have to tell you is how to make it turn the other way. And that is quite simple. You just simply add a little minus, okay, and then subtract like that. And with this code, it will spin the other way. Now, do take a look at my Blazor course. Also, take a look at my Stripe course in Blazor. You will learn how to integrate Stripe checkout and Stripe uh, check out subscriptions for subscriptions in Blazor and API and do take a look at my .NET Core, .NET 5 API development course. Uh, it will be a very, very useful arrangement indeed. You'll know how to program the front end with Blazor and how to deal with those APIs. Now, with that said, do support this channel on Patreon and do subscribe to this channel.